Hi, Josh Apple here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at Raspberry Falls in Leesburg, Virginia, and I'm going to talk about turf interaction. Turf interaction is the way the club enters the ground, whether you're a steep player, take big divots, go way into the ground, a shallow player, very small divots, or a picker, no divots at all. Today I'm going to explain how to change your shot to either get steeper or more shallow based on what you need. This time of year may be difficult to tell what your turf interaction actually is because most of us are practicing off mats. But if you do go on the golf course to get a chance to practice off grass, you can play around and try different swings, whether more shallow or more steep. If you're someone who is more steep, like myself, I take big divots. There are three ways that I like to shallow out my swing. The first and probably simplest way is to simply choke down on the golf club. By doing that, you're making the golf club a little shorter and you're gonna go a little less into the ground. The second way is also through your setup which is backing away from the golf ball from where you normally are. So instead of being here, I'm simply taking a step back and getting further away from the golf ball. That will also shallow out your swing. The third is in swing, unlike the first two which are set up. The third is actually consciously trying to make your swing flatter by swinging more around your body. So in my swing, I tend to be steep. If I want to shallow out my swing, I'm gonna swing more around my body. It's gonna feel more inside and more rotated. So it would look more like this in my backswing rather than up vertical. Obviously that's slightly exaggerated, but I have a vertical swing, which means I'm steep and go into the ground pretty significantly versus more around. So the three ways just to remind you, if you want to be flatter is to swing more shallow consciously or either in your setup, choke down or get further away from the golf ball. Now, if you're someone who is very shallow naturally, you would do the opposite. You would want to make sure you're gripping the club all the way on the end. You would want to get a little closer to the golf ball and you would want that more upright, vertical type golf swing to make sure you get into the ground and take a divot. I'm going to hit two shots for you now. One with a more steep swing, one with a more shallow swing. On both of these, I'm going to change my in swing, not my setup. So the first one, I'm going to hit with a more steep angle and you'll see a bigger divot. second shot, I'm going to be more shallow, and you'll see a much shallower divot. Whether you prefer to change your swing or your setup, both tools are effective. Most people find changing your setup is a little easier. For those of you who are steep like me, when the course conditions get wet and soggy in the winter, it's very important to shallow out your swing. But being able to do both is an effective tool. I'm Josh Apple, and that's your tip of the day.